Hey everyone, welcome to another Photoshop tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create that scale I showed you in my previous tutorial. So if you haven't seen the previous tutorials at robertsproductions.net and I show you how to create this LCD display. You're going to need to know how to do this or at least create one before we create the scale because a scale isn't a scale without having something to tell you how much it weighs. You know what I mean? Well, let's go ahead and get started. I'm actually going to start off by getting the background. Now the background I got from DeviantArt.com. Let's see if I can find it right here. DeviantArt.com and we have this nice wood floor. So I have it here. I'm just going to right click, copy image, file new, and it's going to create it at the size of the image we just copied. Uh, we can name this scale. Click OK and let's edit paste this in. Okay so now that we have the floor we can go ahead and get started with the scale. First things first, let's grab the rectangle tool down here in the shapes tool. Rectangle tool and let's draw out the scale. Uh, you know, right around there. And then we can center it. Control click the background, center it vertically or horizontally and vertically. So now this is centered and we're going to add a few layer styles to our glass piece. This is going to be the top glass piece here. But before I do that, I just want to change the color of this to white. Click OK. Double click this to open up its layer styles. Let's bring the fill opacity down to around 15. That way you can kind of still see the whiteness, but it's a lot more opaque. You can see through it. All right, so now that we have that, we can just uh, go and add an inner shadow. We can add a little bit of this. Bring the size up and the opacity down around there, 24%. And then let's add a, actually, let's not use global, global light. Let's go with 90 degrees, 24%. And now let's, let's add a stroke to this. Bring the stroke up and I'm going to position it on the inside so the edges are squared off. Right around six, six or seven looks good. And click OK. So there we have the top glass portion of our scale. We need to create the bottom portion. So it's real simple, just make a few shapes. We're gonna go into the rounded rectangle tool and we're gonna set the radius at 80 pixels. That way it'll give us enough roundness to kind of make these oval bottom pieces. So let's just click and drag them out. Uh, you know, they can be any size, I guess, right around there. Okay, and again this is black. Let's change this to a kind of a light gray around there. Click OK and here we have this. So now let's go into the shapes tool and grab the ellipse tool. And we want to make sure it it's going to create a new shape layer. Then we can change the color from black to a lighter gray right around there. Kaka. Okay. Look up that definition. Google it. Hold down shift and we can make this a little round, these little round circles. And there we have that. So you can center it and then hold down alt and shift and that'll duplicate it. And then shift will keep it from moving side to side and just move this down toward the bottom. All right, so there we have our entire shape. It's looking good. I'm going to select all three of these layers, hit Control G to group them together. And this can be called bottom one. Okay, so now we're going to hold down Alt and Shift and click and drag this over for the other side. Right around there. So we can select these two bottom pieces as well as the shape here. Come up here and let's distribute the horizontal centers. So if we click that, everything's going to get centered nicely in place. But you'll notice it kind of moved the scale over, which you can center off a little bit later. So here we have our LCD display I created earlier. I'm just going to select all of these layers except for the background. Hit Control Alt E and what that does is it's going to merge all those layers together and put it into a new layer just like that. So we can click and drag this onto the scale or you can select it and copy it. And here we have the display. So it's a little too big. We can hit Control or Command T, size it down right around there and position it right in place. We can uh, center it within the scale there. There we go. And last but not least, let's add a new layer. 
grab the pen tool. Let's go here, here, hit shift. Is that, that's not really center. Right around there and around here. And we're just going to create a nice little glow. So with this new layer, right click, fill path, white, click OK. And then we can uh, delete the path. Go back to the move tool. Let's move this all the way up above everything. Then select the scale here, control click. So we select it. And with the white shine selected, hit the mask tool. And that's just going to mask it to the scale. And then we can just bring the opacity down. Just like that. And you can see it's reflecting like glass would. So there you have it, a scale created in Photoshop. Instead of making it transparent, you know, you can do whatever you want, just make it a white scale and add your own style to it. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.